Hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David Charlton. Today we're going to be talking about peripheral view, pardon me, tunnel vision, and personal space. So without further ado, let's get going. Hi guys, so like I said in the intro, I want to continue on from distance. Like last video, just to carry it on so you, you understand, because I really want to get through. I might talk too much already about the understanding of everything and why we do it for, and there's reasons behind it. Once you've got it here, you, you, you see a distance. This is where the stock I used to. Spawn, feet spawn is good, which is good for this peripheral view. Yeah, getting used to it not. Looking through it. So, a lot of people, when there's a something happens they get tunnel vision so tunnel vision means you only concentrate on one thing and you forget about the rest where in a real situation on the street if you have got more than two people it's really dangerous very dangerous to get tunnel vision because this is where you get hurt because if i'm only seeing him and not this person or that person or there and the hit is or yeah it can cause serious damage so it's very important to get used to peripheral view so get used to seeing right across the board so you can look forward but still see people you have in here and here and like I said with the distance never let anybody go behind you know your comfort zone know where you are you know, take a step back have a quick look around yeah where am I like I said last night in a bar toilet whatever scenario it could happen anywhere so you gotta look right think how many how many have I got have I got one person have I got two have I got three has he got friends so there's a lot that goes into it as long, uh, uh, along with that, you've got your personal, this is your personal space, like I said, with your distance. This is your personal space. You have your hands up. If they come forward, and you can push them away. So you've got to give them a warning first, you can't just hit them. Plus, along with that, you want to be able to see the feet. It's no good looking in their eyes, and then dropping your head to look at the feet. Really dangerous. Very, very dangerous. You must be able to... See everything this way and that way. So I can look in his eyes and still see his feet. Even if it means taking a little step back a bit more, so I can see his feet, so I can see the whole of them. It's, it's, it's safe. You've got to think of your safety. You want to be able to see everything. Because if I'm looking in somebody's eyes and then drop the head, I can hit them. Same as sparring, yeah? If you're sparring with somebody, you're looking in the eyes and then drop the head, you're going to punch them. So exactly the same reason, yeah? See, you want to see everything. So open them eyes up. Yeah, you get used to seeing everything that way and that way so I can see and I know I'm safe that I'm a safe distance where he can't hit us but if I want to slide in step in whatever then I've got an advantage jump but distance yeah like I said it's continuing on from that this is where we need to think right so there's a lot that goes into it so you need to do this you think your distance being aware you got one person you got two people What's he carrying? Is he carrying a bottle? Has he got a knife? So you want to be able to see everything. What kind of shoes is he wearing? Is he wearing store, steel toe cap? Where if he kicks you, he hurts. And this is where it all comes down to getting this distance. Yeah, keeping them all here. So along with this, as well, when you deal with a situation, it's a lot, honestly, like I say, it's a, it's a way society is now, it's really hard. Because you've got to think, like three moves ahead, like I say, what you're hitting with, where it's going, and what the outcome is. So like, th like you give him a chest. But to throw in the works there, you've got to remember now, everybody's cameras everywhere. Cameras, people on the phone. If there's a fight, or something happening, the first thing now people do in society is get the phones out and start recording. They won't go and help. They'll just probably get the phones out, start recording, upload onto YouTube, TikTok, like, where it's wrong, yeah? So this is where you've got to be think, yeah? am I being watched, am I being recorded? This is why this is important and not this, this. Empty pop, open palms, not, then it's classed as a non-aggressive stance, non-aggressive stance, yeah? In posture. Pardon me. So you've got to... 
think of everything this, there's a lot of that gets thrown in. Passerbys, yeah, they're, they're the worst ones, they only see what they want to see. Oh, he hit him for no reason, yeah. So you've just got to be very, very careful what you do. I know he, he comes forward, push him away. Don't just hit him hard straight away. You can, there's a thing called preemptive strike, which if you're feeling threatened, you, you feel like life threatened, yeah, that you, you're going to get hurt. You can't hit him, and that's called a preemptive strike. But make that preemptive strike count. Not to hurt him, like really hurt him, but just enough to t get him away. Then, if he comes back, then hit him a little bit harder. The next video I'm going to talk about power, and we'll go into like detail about that. This one I just want to stick with the continuation of distance, peripheral view, personal space, and get out of that tunnel. Get used to not being tunnel vision. If you are, take a step. If you have to take that little step back, more be safe. By all means, do so. So practice in the class. Practice in sparring when you're doing your face sparring. Try and go one against one. Yeah, can I, can I see his eyes and can I see his feet? If so, that's good. Because yeah, you get look, you get you look at his eyes and still see his feet. If I have to take a step back, and I'm, then I can see it. By all means, then I'm, I'm safe. Yeah, away from him. Another thing I see, which is very dangerous. If you're dealing with a situation, especially aggressive person, you move away and you turn him, turn your back. Never turn your back on something. I, I always say like the, in the class when I take three steps back in the class there's obviously not a specific meaning behind that but for me it's getting you to take the step back then turn you don't just turn straight away yeah especially if he wants to hurt you you're just throwing him out he wants to kick you all over or he's threatening to stab you or hurt you you don't want to just turn your back straight on him and go do do on because people will do it They'll go from the side, the cowards, yeah, they'll take from, hit, hit you in the back. Or possibly even more dangerous, like stabbing, this day and age with knives. So always go back, you know, it's four, five, six steps. Till you're comfortable, till you know you're safe, then turn. Self-defense is all about safety, your safety. If you can walk away from a fight, that's self-defense. You've, 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 you've saved yourself from harm. You don't have to fight. Would, would be, like the old saying is, yeah, you don't get uh, you don't get any rewards for being a dead hero. It's the same thing, principle. If I can walk away from a fight, I'll just walk away. So I can go home, live another day. I don't want to get involved in something if I don't have to, unnecessarily. So the, there's more to the self-defense in protecting yourself. Yeah? You don't have to fight. If you can find a way of walking away just by talking. Big thing I can say with anybody is you treat people how you want to be treated. It goes a massive way, and I mean massive way. Probably in life, not just in Taekwondo, in everyday life. And that's why I didn't say Taekwondo is a way of life. It is. You can put everything in the class, in the in the working throughout the day, observing people, looking at people, how they do, how they how they work, how they look. Looking for signs, looking in the eyes. So you do treat people nicely. Don't go wrong, sometimes it doesn't work. But 10 minutes out of 10, I've found, if I've gone and talked to somebody nicely, on their level, you, yeah, you just walk away. But sometimes, like I say, it doesn't happen, unfortunately. I don't want to mumble on again, like I said. Um, but, like I say, practice, practice, practice. Get used to get used to distance being safe so he can't if he's over there he can't hit you but then when he steps in you remember your legs longer especially if you're half side facing you can just pop up a side kick and again try not go unless you're warm you can go a little bit higher but if you're cold don't just do high because you end up you end up tearing your own muscles and you don't want that so just keep it low and then they never look at your legs when i've seen people in the street, they're always full facing. Very, very horsey face, like I said last time on that video. So if they're full facing, I'm here. Yeah, I've got a better distance from them, a little, a little bit more, as I'm leaning back to be safe. So they can't hit us, they can't attack us. I go down, yeah. 
take him out. I don't want to break him his leg because I'll be like, I'll now become aggressive. I'll become like, well, he broke his leg. Why did he break his leg for? It's like, oh, like I say again, they were saying eye for eye. Yeah. He's just coming at you with empty hands. You're not just going to kill him. Yeah. But then there's different scenarios. You put a bottle in his hand, then put a knife in his hand. Then it changes the perspective of the outcome. Of, right. Is it him or me? Civilian safety. But then think, 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 civilian, think, how If you're going to do something, do it. And then walk away. Never go back because you broke the chain. And then that's when you get there and you can't complete self defence. When you've done it, done something, done, hit them, hurt, punch them, kick them, whatever. You've dealt with the situation. You've walked away, yeah. You thought, I'm going to kill you, yeah. Never then, just finish it and then walk away. Because that's when it, you're breaking the chain. I think I've pretty much cleared that of your peripheral view, your tunnel vision, your personal space. And say again, I'm going to put out more videos to explain even more, there's so much more to help you and to under, for you to understand that deals with the set sparring and in reality when you do have a street fight. Hopefully you, do, you don't, yeah, hopefully you get away with not, but just in case, it's always best to have that knowledge, best to have it not need it and need it not have it. So I hope you subscribe to the video, same again, I don't want to have nasty comments, keep them to yourself. And thank you very much. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you. Bye.